Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and tonight's video is a continuation of one I made a couple weeks ago. I had to cut out a bunch of these, and I wanted to save my save some time and save some wood. And what I've done is I've broken them apart where it only has to cut. It doesn't have to cut that line twice. So every one of them is a little bit different. So I'm going to show you how I did that. We're just going to start all over. I did it a completely other way the other day, and this is going to make life a lot better. So you take the polygon tool. We're going to go with a six-sided. Hold down your control button and get a, a even one. Now, we're going to make it for the video. We're going to make it, and I've got my factor locked, so I've got it set on 10. I'm going to set my nudge factor at 10. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to control D. I'm going to move this over twice. Now, I don't want that line. The other way, I had to completely do this totally different. But since I made the name tag ones, just bring down your indexing line till it says node. Bring down your indexing line till it says node. The, the indexing line is going to stop that line from continuing. And then just move it back over. So now you have two done. So then you can take this, control D, grab the top node. Well, let's actually grab this node. And we're going to put it here. It's going to snap to it. But now I don't need this line and this line and this line. So we're going to uh, just move it down one. And so we need to take away this line, this line, and this line. So this is really easy because our indexing lines are already there. So we're going to take and just cut these lines away. Now we're just going to move this back. Okay, I didn't I need to didn't need to cut that one line. So I need another this is what's cool about this. Let's zoom in here. I grab the crop tool. Let's zoom in here and let's put another indexing line right there where it says node. And now let's just delete that one. Now we can get our pick tool back, encompass these, grab that. Well, we've kind of lost that node. So we're going to grab that corner node now. So now I've got four. And you could continuously, you know, do this forever. It's a lot quicker than the way I'd, I'd done before. But every one of them has broken lines where it's not going to cut it but one time. Now, in a thin wood, it's probably not going to save you that much time. But in like a, I cut these out a quarter inch MDF, and it, you know, to cut it at 100 power is like three speed. So, three speed from there to there is probably about 20, 30 seconds. So, you're going to save, you know, probably a, a minute on each hectagon. You know, so by the time you do that, you're probably going to save two minutes of cutting. And you're going to get more on the sheet of wood than you could before. So that's a lot easier way. Hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.